Depositions were taken this week in the lawsuit of Tulsa Police Captain Paul Fields against the city of Tulsa, its police chief and a deputy chief. Captain Fields sued after he was disciplined for refusing to order his officers to attend an event at the local mosque. Lori Fulbright has the new developments tonight. Lori. Well, Jennifer, Paul Fields was suspended without pay for two weeks, and he's currently, for the past year, been reassigned to the graveyard shift, and his attorneys say he's simply being punished for standing up for his beliefs. I find it very heartbreaking what has happened to Captain Fields. Aaron Mustino is, is an attorney for the Thomas More Law Center, a nonprofit public interest law firm in Michigan that defends Christian values. The center is handling Fields' lawsuit. They say Captain Fields has been an exemplary officer in his more than 17 years on the job and is being punished now for taking a stand. We teach our children to never do anything that you feel bad about. And he stood up and said this... This breaches my religious beliefs, and this is wrong. She says attending the Islamic Society's Law Enforcement Appreciation Day was initially a voluntary activity, but when not enough people signed up, Deputy Chief Daryl Webster sent a memo directing supervisors to get officers to attend. Fields objected and refused. It was much more intrusive than just going there and enjoying a piece of cake and a thank you. She says officers would get tours, see a religious service, and receive presentations on Islam. She says it was not a community policing event where officers were going to give, say, a safety presentation. She says Fields' objection was not about the Muslim faith, but about staying true to his own faith. This lawsuit is about a Christian who is standing up and saying that he does not want to do something that violates his conscience. Um, he is not anti-Muslim in the slightest. Now, Paul Fields, as well as Police Chief Chuck Jordan, Deputy Chief Darrell Webster, all testified during the depositions in the past two days. This lawsuit is set to go to trial in December. I talked to the city attorney this afternoon, and he said, of course, because it is ongoing litigation, they can't comment. But in the past, they have said this was a community policing event, and officers are assigned to them all the time. Lori Fulbright, News on 6 tonight.